What is happening guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage. On today's episode, today we're finally getting a ride. The 999 cc. Why? 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 <laughs> we, we really thought we was going to get to ride it on the last one, but as you guys know, we had to change a ton of stuff and we wouldn't expect it. So today we're going to get the exhaust done. We've got to move the battery. Uh, I'll show you how we did the uh, throttle cable. We have to do this on a lot of buggies. We have to extend it to make it longer because no one makes an off the shelf Makuni throttle cable that's long enough for that. So we'll show you how we did that. So we used a 54 inch Makuni throttle cable from Go Power Sports and ran it down to this hobbyist box. This has a little lip and it's fully waterproof. And we basically take a Predator 212 throttle cable eyelet and we tie two uh, throttle cables together. So this is a Manco style go-kart throttle cable that Go Power Sports sells. They also sell these little tabs, these pedals, the spring set up all this can be found in the video description including this box we'll add it as well so we we'll just hook those two together we'll trim off the excess of these cables and we got a throttle cable we can put the lid on that and then we can put our battery box on the opposite side because if you guys remember it was hitting the pulley so we got a lot of stuff to do so let's get it done All right, first start, got the exhaust done. Just did a single exhaust because this is all gonna get changed pretty soon, so didn't wanna waste a lot of time on it. Make sure I'm all congested. Bye, bye. Yeah, might need to break freaking sick success just needs a little bit leaner yeah and i think it'll be okay for first ride and go out and play with it and yeah. see what she feels like because this is exciting first drive it's definitely definitely so basically 17 and a half to a 20 uh pilot jet which is your idle circuit and we have a what 25 27 and a half 27 and a half so we definitely need to dial that back we sank him because it's a bigger engine it's not much different than a 670 honestly like you would think it would be but the car was factory was same size as the 670 and everything so uh, we're gonna have to dial that down we're gonna be flooding it out a little bit but let's do a first ride got the gopro on our tack is not working because i forgot i have to bypass this box i'll show you guys on a later video <laughs> Dirty. <laughs>
I was thinking, I was like, oh, that looks dirty. Yeah, like bad. It's They're dark. both towed like. Well, that, that's the nature of single A arm. But dude, this thing freaking hooks, dude. Like it's dangerous. <laughs> Break off. That's the rev limiter you're hearing. Yeah. The front end, front end is, it's ridiculous. He's pulled out of for so long right there. It's vicious. It feels like it's got an automatic transmission that shifts. Go hit it again. Be careful. Yeah, it's free. Dude, when we got a better. <laughs> <laughs> this steering wheel popped off. Did it? I was worried about <laughs> oh my that. God, shoot. This, uh, this is looser than most of our quicker leases. So it's kind of floppy. They're there. rattling. So we'll pull, pull it, it off. off and put a different steering wheel on it for. Whoo! It's mean, dude. I'm telling you. Like you feel the rev limiter catch it and then it dies down and then revs back up and it starts <laughs> spinning again. Oh, oh, that is fun yeah i'm wondering if the chain's hitting the engine i'm real curious i'm pretty sure it yeah because i've been hearing it oh yeah oh no that's just slinging grease it ain't touched it it's, it's actually further it's away. away from it yeah it's got some a little bit of slop no no <laughs> <laughs> readjusted <laughs> oh man this thing's what a hoss look how much fuel she's drinking it's like soaking wet and it's cold like extremely cold so uh play with the jetting for sure we got a jet the it top Get end it is perfect down. yeah but it's just the well, idle circuit we need to put we got a 27 and a half i think we should jump down pretty aggressively to a 20 20 yeah because uh that that's extremely rich where if it was just a little bit rich i would go to 25 but 22 and a half or 20 is what we're gonna find oh man then we'll do some more pulls with this thing <laughs> Thank you. 
So we told you guys we was gonna try to pull a vehicle. So we're first gonna test this, and then I have a Super Duty. We're gonna try to pull what should be significantly more weight. This is a four wheel drive F-150 V8. Perfect. All right, so it pulled it. It didn't, that carb really needs adjusted out. We've switched the pilot jet to a 22 and a half now. Seems good there. I think we need to mess with the needle height and then test for our main jet, but we're gonna try to pull my super duty. So we'll see what we're gonna start right here and see what'll happen. So I'm gonna unhook and pull the super duty over. So this is a 7.3 liter F350. So it's not a diesel, I'm sure a diesel will be a little heavier. Grab a rock. So it wouldn't have done it with the V treads, I don't think. No, they just don't get enough. Spun They're real good for like asphalt and light yard driving, but on like ultra diggers, you need those puppies. So yeah, so uh, that was a success. Oh yeah! I didn't think it was gonna get going. <laughs> yeah, it took a minute. I had to start working my hips. And yeah, you like that, didn't you, perv? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So guys, the first ride was a huge success and uh, I was pretty impressed that it pulled my F-350 because that's around around 7,000 pounds and it pulled it actually better than I thought it would. I knew it wouldn't with the V-Tread tires, they just don't have enough of uh, uh, big knobbies on them so that's why we swapped out the tires. But uh, let us know what you want to see with this go-kart. Uh, I would do a top speed, but the top speed is not going to be super impressive because this engine is digitally governed with the coils at 4,000 RPMs. What we're gonna do is see if a set of Duramax 713cc coils will bolt right onto it. And if they weigh, will, then we can do heavier valve springs and basically have no governor. So that's coming up in a very soon video. We're only getting like half of our belt travel out of the CVT because of the RPMs, but uh, I like where it engages. I'm gonna keep the CVT uh, the way it is. That CVT did not slip a belt one time pulling that 7,000 pound truck. So it's pretty impressive. So as always, guys, let us know what you think of it in the comment section below. Uh, let us know what you want to see done with this cart. Uh, we are going to do some double A arm front suspension and stuff, but we're going to enjoy it for a little bit before we tear it back apart and start working on it again. So, uh, yeah, let us know what you want to see. Make sure to check out the links in the video description down below and uh, help support the channel because you using those links keeps us doing these videos, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, we got another pretty cool project coming on the channel on Friday. So stay tuned. We love you guys and God bless.